Creating video contents nowadays is so popular. Video quality is important and the audio is critical part of it. Having a good story or content is not enough in film or video making. We need to consider different factors like delivery of scripts, cinematography, color grading, and audio. Having a bad audio in your video content may give your viewers discomfort, resulting them to not continue watching your videos anymore. So for today's video, I will give you 3 tips to get that good sounding audio for your videos. Once again, this is Jeff Heronimo and thank you for watching this video. Reminder lang, if you're an advanced or um, pro level video maker or filmmaker or um, editor, content creator, you might want to skip this video and watch my other videos because uh, this video is for beginners or dun sa mga teachers natin ngayon or yung mga nag-start palang mag YouTube ngayong panahon ng pandemic or sa bahay. So without further ado, let's start with tip number one. Record your audio externally. So yung unang tanong natin dito guys is bakit kailangan nating i-record yung audio natin externally? Because most of our cameras like what we're using right now, um, yung internal mics niyan hindi ganun kaganda unlike sa mga external mics na nakikita natin like yung mga boom mic, yung uh, external recorders, yung mga lapel and kung anong ginagamit natin ngayon. And um, yung camera natin tends to capture ito kung walang external mic, tends to capture a lot of his noise, uh, um, room ambience or room reverb, ma-echo tapos ma um, pwede niya pang ma-capture yung mga tumatahol na aso, yung mga tumitilaok na manok and yung um mga nagbebenta ng taho or lumpia sa sa dadaan sa sa bahay nyo and ang dami ang dami niyang pwedeng ma-capture or mismo yung kahit hindi ka nagsasalita tapos may aircon kayo maririnig niya yung hum ng aircon na yon that's why it's important to record our audio externally and assuming you're a beginner na nakarating ka ngayon sa point na to ng video na to, here are some options you might want to try. Kung wala kang external audio recorder ngayon and nag-start ka pa lang talaga and walang budget ngayon para pambili ng external mics, here are some options na pwede mong itry. First is record through your phone. Through our phone. Phone is our best friend when it comes to our audio. Voice recording of our phones are quite impressive compared sa ating internal mics. Kaya naman, uh, pwede mo tong gamitin while recording. Magre-record ka din gamit yung voice recorder sa phone mo. And um, like na to, uh, itong framing natin, hindi mo kita yung table. So ilalagay ko lang tong phone ko sa harap ko to record my audio externally. And you may also want to try recording your audio through this headphone. Ay, mali pala. Through these earphones. Yan. Itong earphones natin, yung kadalasan ng earphones ngayon, meron ng mic. So, pwede mo tong gamitin and place them under your mouth or chin. Dito banda. Dito. Huwag nyo gagawin yung lalapit na dito yung mic ng earphones yo bakit kasi sa sabog and masakit sa tenga and makikita nyo na lang sa editing hala sabog yung audio ko so mahirap yon and to give you an example let's try to record our audio and let's compare it right now nasa na yung voice recorder ko so yan here's the audio of our camera and here's my audio using my phone voice recorder here's my audio using um, this dynamic mic. And yun yung mga example natin. And narinig nyo nga yung difference between uh, our internal mic sa camera natin versus the external mics na pwede natin gamitin. Dynamic mics, boom mics, or 
shotgun mics or our phone reco voice recorders. Pero yung downside lang nito is the syncing of our audio dun sa camera natin sa post-production or sa editing. Don't, don't, please don't forget this pagka nag-record kayo externally. Clap. Hindi to, hindi to joke guys ha. Hindi to like, salamat Shopee. Hindi siya ganun ha. So, kailangan talaga nating mag-clap. Why? Kasi para makita natin yung peak sa editing para dun natin ipapantay yung audio ng camera natin sa audio ng external mic. Makikita nyo yan, parang mountain na ganun. Then, other option is yun nga, kanina sinabi ko, uh, record using affordable boom mics. Ang dami ngayon sa market, if budget permits, if kaya mong bumili ngayon, uh, you can buy um, boom mics, lav mics. Lav mics meaning yung lapel, yung sinasabit dito, lavalier mics. Sa production mo, uh, pwede kang bumili nung brand na Boya. Siya yung nakikita ko ngayon most affordable sa market na... Boom mic or yung shotgun mic na tinatawag natin. Yung nakikita nyo kapag nagvo-vlog, yung nasa taas ng camera. That's a shotgun mic or boom mic. First, let's take a break. Let's have some... Coffee. Bango niya. Now, for our tip number two, Place your external mics closer to you. Nakikita nyo naman kung gano'ng kalapit yung um, dynamic microphone sa bibig ko ngayon. And tong shotgun mic, nasa tabi ko lang kung nakikita sa frame. Nandito lang siya banda. Having your mic placed over your camera and kung malayo siya, like kung anong meron tayo ngayon, magka-capture pa rin siya ng madaming room ambience or yung reverb or yung echo. Kaya baka isipin nyo, parang hindi naman gumagana yung boom mic ko kasi um, ang, ang noise pa rin niya. Kasi, yun nga, kailangan ipe-place natin yung mic natin closer sa atin. And having our mics placed closer to us will have a proximity effect. Yung proximity effect, ito. Ito yung example niya. Ito yung proximity effect. So, nagiging, uh, yung voice natin nagiging thicker and parang, alam nyo yung mga broadcaster, yun yung, yun yung sound na meron tayo once na nilapit natin. Try naman natin ngayon dun sa boom mic. Ito yung sound ng boses ko uh, using the boom mic. I'm using a Rode video mic. And hindi yung pro level ha, yung Rode video mic, yung color red. Yung may color red na um, shock absorber. Now, tignan naman natin yung difference between um, placing our mics closer to us tapos habang lumalayo ng lumalayo. For our boom mic, ito siya. Place natin ng ganito kalapit. So, yan. So, here's my voice. Placing my mic closer to me. And my voice recording through a road video mic placed um, beside my camera right now. Um, yun, medyo malayo. And kung mapapansin nyo, konti na lang yung boses na nakakapture niya and mas maraming uh, room ambience. So you might want to place your external mics dito sa table para hindi siya kita sa frame. Pero if you're achieving that um, live stream look and feel, you may use this kind of setup. And yung boom mic ko, siguro sa exposure, pag in-edit siya, hindi na siya makikita dito. And um, yun, kung gusto nyo nung production na hindi kita, just make sure na pag nag-shoot na kayo, walang mic nakita sa frame nyo. So, the question is, how can you place your um, boom mic or uh, shotgun mics closer to you kung nasa taas siya ng camera and maikli lang yung wires niya. Very simple. Bibili lang kayo sa hardware, sa local hardware store, or sa SM, or sa Ace Hardware, ng ganito. There you go. Yan. Kailangan nyo nito, isang 3.5mm jack and isang uh, female ba to or male? I don't know. Comment nyo kung ano ta. <laughs> Hindi ko alam kung male ba to or female. Pero yan. Kailangan nyo to. Sasaksak nyo lang dito yung saksakan ng 
uh, boom mic nyo or ng shotgun mic nyo then ito sa camera nyo etong itong part na to sa camera nyo para magsisilbi siyang extension na pagka ito saksak nyo na sa camera mahaba na siya so pwede mo nang i-place kahit saan yung uh, mic, yung boom mic or yung shotgun mic mo which is sa akin ngayon ay nasa tabi ko na naka-mount sa tripod pwede mong ilagay yung shotgun mic mo or yung boom mic mo sa ilalim ng table mo and before pala makalimutan ko don't forget to set your um, camera into a manual sound recording mode why? Kasi kapag ka naka-auto yan, may times na magpipik yung audio level mo and yon you don't want those peaking uh, audio level kasi masakit siya sa, ma- sa tenga, sa matatuloy. Masakit siya sa tenga and ba- mabasag na yung audio nun. Kung makikita nyo dun sa audio level nyo na naging nandun na siya sa taas, basag na yon And you don't want that because sabi nga natin sa intro, we don't want discomfort dun sa mga nanonood ng ating video. Gusto natin na ma-provide sa anila yung better experience dun sa audio natin. For tip number three, equalize or cure your audio during post-production. After all those shoots na nagawa mo na and nakapag uh, okay na yung nagawa mo dadating na tayo sa part ng post production which is yung editing ng footage natin for this part don't forget to equalize your audio and do some tweakings don't be afraid to try equalizing your audio bakit kasi it may sound better ba- um pwedeng yung gawing mabasey yung yung boses nyo or matreble kung medyo makapal yung boses nyo talaga pwede nyo itweak doon na maging uh, brighter yung voice mo and if bright naman yung voice mo ngayon uh, you can do some tweakings to make it more bassier so for starters meron yung um, presets doon sa editing software na pwede mong gamitin you may uh, increase the gain of your audio if masyadong mahina yung sagap nung mic mo or nung phone recorder mo or itong dynamic mic na nasa harapan mo or nagkamali ka ng setup then nakita mo sa post masyadong mahina dito mo, mak- dito mo pwedeng gawin na taasan yung gain taasan yung gain ng voice recording mo and we're here now sa Adobe Premiere Pro CC and kung makikita nyo ito yung audio natin Here's how you equalize here in Adobe Premiere under Effects tab. Hanapin nyo lang yung Effects tab which is nandito for my setup. Nandito siya sa lower left corner. And Effects tab, tapos type nyo lang dyan uh, Equalizer. Then lalabas yung uh, graphic equalizer na 10 bands, 20 bands, 30 bands. Or yung para parametric equalizer. Yung parametric equalizer is uh, ma-visualize nyo yung audio levels while yung graphic equalizer is yung knobs lang yung makikita nyo. So, let's try both of this. So, ito. Under effects control. Ito na siya. Parametric equalizer. So, i-edit lang natin siya. Yun. Kung gusto nyo ma- maging ma-base yung, yung bosses nyo, taasan nyo lang tong 1 and 2 around here. Then, um, tung lo- L na to, low pass, gawin, lagyan na natin ng low pass filter kasi para matanggal pa rin yung, uh, baka kasi minsan may makalusot. So, yan. We don't want that. And, now, creating video contents nowadays is so popular. Video quality is important and the audio is critical part of it. Yung, so, Creating video contents nowadays is so popular. Creating video contents nowadays is so popular. Now, papakita naman natin ngayon yung itsura ng graphic equalizer na effect. So, here, sa effects control, click nyo lang yung edit. Then, mer- yun nga, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, um, if you're a beginner na pati sa pag edit Meron naman mga presets. So, meron na dyan vocal presence boost. Meron din vocal, vocal presence cut. So, yung vocal presence boost is simply um, tataasan niya lang yung bandang treb uh, at brighter part. Kaya, uh, magkakaroon ng magiging crispy yung voice nyo. Then, yung vocal presence cut is 
um, opposite of that. Then, uh, meron din silang simple base cut or simple base lift. Um, very self-explanatory. So, if you want your voice to be bassier or thicker, um, use the base lift. Or if you want to make your uh, voice um, brighter, use the base cut, then use a treble booster. So, that's it. So, that's our three tips to get a good sounding audio and hindi doon nagtatapos. Meron na on last two bonus tips sa inyo. Meron kayong audio level monitor sa camera. Makikita nyo dyan habang nag-record kayo kung nagpipick yung voice nyo. Or dun sa manual, makikita mo naman pag nag-sound check ka uh, kung nasaan yung audio or yung level ng audio mo. Don't uh, make it pass negative 6 dB. Make sure na yung audio level mo is between negative 6 dB to negative 18 dB only. And last bonus tip, even if you have um, boom mics already na nakasalpak sa camera mo, don't forget to put a backup voice recording. Today, uh, meron na akong dynamic mic na, kung saan ako nagre-record ngayon and meron din akong shotgun mic. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that marami akong na-impart sa inyo when it comes to uh, audio recording, especially do sa mga teachers natin dyan and mga students na nag uh, gumagawa ng projects nila and sa mga teachers natin na gumagawa ng uh, teaching modules nila, you can use this method. You don't need these mics. You can use your phone and your best partner, earphones, mics. Please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button kung nagustuhan mo tong uh, video na to. And promise guys, uh, more to come na tips for videography, photography, editing, and some gear reviews in the future. So you might want to click that bell button para once na nag-upload ako ng ganun, ay ma-notify kayo. Once again, this is Jeff Heronimo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. And stay safe and see you on my next video. Bye. Peace.